What's going on everyone? It's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have an epic wedding for you guys with brand new speakers. We got the LD systems, ICOA systems. We got the ICOA 18s and the 15s. It's going to be insane. Let's get into it. So as you guys saw the setup, we got some new toys we're playing today with the new uh, LD ICO system. Also got a new little toy from uh, Colorado Sound and Light that's going to help us determine circuits and some power stuff. So we're going to get into that today in the video. I'm currently in the garage working on setting up or packing everything into the trailer that we're taking today. It looks empty right now because we have three events out right now. We got two weddings out and we have a uh, the wedding show set up that we're doing tomorrow. I won't be at the wedding show. It honestly looks empty now after guys took movers, took up lights, took... Uh, Cold sparks, all kinds of stuff out today. It's crazy to think how busy we are now. Literally, we got like four four events going on this weekend, and it literally just feels like a normal weekend. I remember back when we first started, like in 2019, where we did like three events in the same night, and I was like freaking the hell out, and now we just, you know, we got a solid team. Shout out to the team on the back end that does everything. Marcellus, Hannah, Jordan. We got all kinds of people in places and salary positions now, and I'm setting up health insurance now for the team, which is pretty freaking cool to say that I have a business that has employees with health insurance and 401ks and stuff like that. Anyways, we're getting into the video. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, time lapse me loading up all this stuff and uh then tomorrow we'll get on the road and head out to charlotte this is the day before this is all i got loaded up so far the speakers that is the 1000 srt that they want to use audio rack burp is not in here which is nice movers totems monitor we just got a mackie fump 215 for a monitor today one thing that's interesting about my company is uh we actually are very lean with the amount of equipment we have i mean this might look like a lot of equipment to you guys but we have five full-time djs so we have a lot of changeover between events to events so Jordan is out at an event right now doing a wedding and I need the t-top table that he's got and he's got my rock and roller cart right now so once I get his rock and roller cart tomorrow I'm gonna load up all this stuff hazer jackery thump go for a cocktail and then I'm also gonna load up my ceremony rig for tomorrow so we can do ceremony so I got the rack right here Maui 5 Go right here and uh, Yamaha 6 Channel Mix right there. All set, ready to go. We have two of those spare ones. All my DJs except for one has their own ceremony rig. So I keep two spare ones, one for me and one for the other DJ. And also got all of the up lights charging. I've shown this before, but I think this is really clever. So we have a lot of stuff to charge. And you know, you might trip a breaker if you're charging all this at once. I got this Casa TP-Link Smart Surge Protector. This has six individual plugs that you can individually turn on and off with your smartphone. I have it set for a smart automation where it'll charge two of them for four hours, then charge the next two for four hours, and then the next two for four hours. And basically, you just gotta make sure you start that well in advance for your events. Get all the up lights charged up. Those will be ready to go first thing in the morning. Load them up, grab the last little bit of stuff, and we will be off to the wedding. So I'll catch back up with you guys tomorrow when we get to the venue Ooh, I need my sunglasses it's bright I am so sorry guys I did not film anything when we got here we're at the club at Longview in uh, Charlotte North Carolina honestly I literally forgot to film anything mainly because we were running a little bit behind schedule it wasn't necessarily our fault we're driving all the way to Charlotte running the traffic we were just hustling grinding to get everything set up because we also didn't know it was a room flip now I think I preferenced already this is not actually the wedding that I am going to be DJing tonight my boy Marlon flew down from New York New Jersey and he's gonna be DJing the whole entire thing with his uh, well actually he's gonna be MC and he's got a DJ with him as well and uh, we're here providing all the production so let's go on in and show you everything i'll also preference it is currently um prelude ceremony so we'll show you more during the room flip nice little atrium this is where cocktail is going to be in combination with outside this is where gabe's going to be photo booth tonight up lighting around the whole room monogram up there All right guys, like I said, I didn't really have much time to film when we were setting up or when we were flipping, but the full setup is complete. Uh, so let me take you guys through a little bit of what we're working with today. 
and of course the Shining Star, our new LD system, Icoa system. Um, shout out Nick Spinelli with the hookup, got me these uh, at a good price. So really hard to film with the bright light coming through all these windows, which actually makes this room look amazing. Um, around the room though, we have about 32 of the Bow Lighting S4s. Lots of impact for later on tonight. It's gonna really shine and make it lit tonight. You guys saw the monogram up over there. Nice custom one for Alan and Amanda. That is with the Epson Powerlite 2250U on top of a gravity stand. Then we have two tight totems tonight. On either side is a Global Trust totems with both lighting MH150 spots in pearl white on top. We do have a secretive hazer right here. Not entirely sure if we're allowed to use that or not, but we got it. Let's look at speaker wise. Speaker wise, it's a little bit of an interesting setup. So dance floor is in the middle of the room, so we're gonna blare speakers in front of these uh, tables right here. Not much I can do about that. but. Uh, we are running the ICO system. We have ICO 18s right here, LD Systems ICO 18s on the bottom, and the ICO 15 tops up on both sides, basically paired on both sides there. And then we have an aux fill speaker down here, and we have a side fill speaker over here that's gonna be able to put audio in here. And of course, that's the LD Systems Maui 5 Go. Cocktail vibes, cocktail vibes. Mackie Fump Go up here on a Rockville stand playing our cocktail music. DJ Booth will go through in a sec. We got the back rack as always. Yamaha MG12 mixer, Audio Technica mics, Furman, DBX Drive Rack PA2 dividing it up. We got the subs on one zone, we have the tops on one zone, and we got that side fill speaker on another zone. I got my laptop running a sound switch for all of our lighting controls. We have the Pro X T top table, Pioneer. 1000 SRT. They're getting everything synced up on what they're gonna be doing tonight. Photography team, everybody working hard, getting it all set. You wanna say something? How's it going? Sorry for my absence, but uh, this might be the last time you see me on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys that don't know, Marlon's got his own YouTube channel. He used to post pretty consistently. He's got a good following there too. So if you want to go follow him and maybe he'll make another video in a year or two. It's crazy though with the vendor teams right now, like how many people. You got four right here on the DJ team. You got one, two, three, four, five, six on the photo video team. You got two on the coordinator and probably like four or five on the venue staff and I don't even know how many are here for catering. There's a lot of staff going on for this wedding. More to come on these speakers at this event and my full breakdown because we gotta crank it up later and see how loud these get. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how is everyone doing this evening? It is my pleasure to welcome everyone to the club at Longview. We are here to celebrate a couple that's very special and near to our hearts. We are here to celebrate love. So I need you to say love. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please focus your attention to the center of the dance floor as our bride and groom grace us with their first act as husband and wife. Their first song, their first dance to the song entitled, It's Been a Long, Long Time.
tell you what, these right here, musician earplugs, very important. I will say, just showing you guys the DB level, it is incredibly loud in there. Now, that LB system is very impressive, but I will say, I am not the DJ here. I probably would not be running it this loud if it was my event. It's, it's aggressive, it really shouldn't be that loud, but you know, that's what they want. That's the vibe. I'm not the DJ. They're having a blast. They're blaring it. They're having a good time. Reliving them club days, baby. But um, I, on the other hand, we're protecting our hearing. Yeah, Brian having a blast. Let's stop that. Stop that right now. You know what we need? First of all, make some noise for our Brian and crew right now. We done. I lost game. He's back there. And ladies and gentlemen, that's all. Yeah, we're all loaded out. 11 on the dot. Just an hour exactly to break down everything. Let's get the trailer closed on up. Yeah, Gabe's gonna work at six o'clock tomorrow. But anyways, quick recap. Awesome wedding. What a party. Marlon rocked it out. Robert rocked it out. Marlon is an incredible MC. Gotta give him props. He's got a really good voice. Really good MC. Shout out for basically hooking us up and coming all the way down from New Jersey, New York. And uh, he was really close friends with the groom and he hooked us up with doing all the production for him. It was lit. But anyways, we got an hour and 30 drive back home and uh, uh, that's all for the gig log though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to comment down below. I'll leave Marlon's info down below if you guys want to go check out his YouTube channel. He was not filming of course. But uh, yeah. Keep the records spinning and we will see you guys next time. Peace.